Hello everyone. In this video, we will see unipolar logic families. Basically, there are two types of logic families. One is called as a unipolar logic family, or the second one that we will see in the next videos will be called as bipolar logic family. So, let us concentrate on unipolar logic family. So, we are having three types of unipolar logic families as PMOS, the second one is called as NMOS, and the third one is called as CMOS. Now, first we will define what is meant by unipolar logic family. So, these are the logic families in which current conduction, affair current flows only in one direction. So, all the logic families in which current flows in one direction or due to majority charge carrier. उसको हम कहते हैं यूनिपोलर लॉजिक फैमिली सो मे बी इन केस ऑफ एनालॉग सर्किट्स यू हैव सीन बीजेटी बाइपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर्स फेट या फिर यूनि जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर्स भी देखा होगा सो इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट यूनिपोलर लॉजिक फैमिली सो इन दैट केस फर्स्ट वील डिस्कस अबाउट पीमोस देन एनमोस एंड फाइनली वील कम अक्रॉस द सीमोस so let's start with the first category that is called as p channel metal oxide semiconductor which is in short called as p mos <clears throat> what is it an acronym for p channel metal oxide semiconductor now as per as the symbolic representation and its working principle is considered p channel metal oxide semiconductors will be treated like this this one is the drain voltage from here we'll connect the input it is complementary and at the bottom we'll take the output so this one is called as symbolic representation of p channel metal oxide semiconductor now when i come across its working principle so we are having two terms important ek to input aur dusra hota hai output so here i will be writing input it may be in the form of voltage ya fir logics ke level mein here we will consider pmos isko hum transistor q bhi keh sakte hain aur yahan par hum likhenge output now when we consider the input so it can have only two levels either zero or one this ko hum kahenge zero volt aur is wali ko hum consider karenge five volt yani ki zero volt ko zero consider karenge logic zero aur five volt ko hum consider karenge logic one now let's come across its working principle first when we apply logic zero here i am applying logic zero and here it is its complement so zero ka complement hota hai one that means this particular transistor or semiconductor will be short circuited kya ho jayega ye short circuit now see whenever it is short circuited this voltage high voltage will be connected to output that is why we can call it is in on state and output will be connected with vdt this com can be logic 1 so when i connecting input 0 at the output we are getting 1 in the reverse case when we apply 5 volt so if i apply 5 volt or logic 1 to kya ho sakta hai dekhiye here we are connecting 1 now once complement will be 0 ab agar ye 0 hai to ye off ho jayega agar off hai to ye open circuit hota hai so this will be the second case so this is open circuit or pichle wale case mein tha short circuit now if it is open circuit what happens this vdd or high voltage cannot be connected to the output to ye kahan se connect ho jayega it is connected through the ground and if it is connected through the ground we will get logic zero or ye jo pmos hai wo off state mein hoga open circuit off short circuit on <coughs> so when we apply zero 
we are getting 1 and we apply 1 we are getting 0 that means it is working as a complementary and that is why such kind of schematics are also called as PMOS as inverter this is also called as what PMOS as inverter two important cases when it is 0 its complement will be 1 it will be short circuited output will be connected with applied voltage and when we are connecting one it is open circuit output will be connected to ground so this will be its truth table so this is how we can narrate p channel as an inverter now in the same case we'll come across the second category which is called as nmos so let's see nmos so here we'll start with second type which is called as n channel metal oxide semiconductor now first we'll see its symbolic representation so symbolically it will be you know connected like this this is our input we'll take output at the top side this is grounded or yeah vdd so this is called symbol of n MOS. This step number one. Okay. Now again, we'll come across the truth table in which here we'll connect the input to this is the status of our MOS and here we'll write the output term. Now we are applying single input so it can have two combinations either 0 or 1. We have to use 0 volt or 5 volt. Bhi sakte. So whenever we'll apply 0 whenever we will be applying 0 at this side see this is uncomplementary so if I connect 0 here will get 0 so first case when we are giving input as 0 this will be open circuit now if it is open circuit you can see output which we are taking from here so what output will be connected with VTT because there is no path for the current to flow from this particular open circuit the output car connect ho jayega vdd se so logic high se connect ho jayega so we'll write this is off or jo output hai wo ho jayega 1 reverse case when input is 1 now when i apply input 1 see if this is 1 definitely यहां पर आ जाएगा 1 that means this is on और ये हो जाएगा short circuit now see when it is short circuit what happens our output will be connected to ground that means when the input is 1 nmos will be in on state and we will get the output as 0 so again if you see जब हमने input 0 apply किया तो output 1 मिल रहा है when we are applying input 1 we are getting output 0 that means again this particular circuit is working as inverter okay so maybe the question could be asked is explain pmos as inverter or nmos as inverter so in that case first draw the logic diagram or symbolic representation and put the truth table so that will be our working principle thank you